name is Angela Eni. I am a 2015 award fellow, postdoctoral fellow, currently working with Covenant University Nigeria as a lecturer. Currently, my research interest is cassava. This is what I'm focusing on right now. I'm working with a group of very top scientists from West Africa um, in a consortium that was put together by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for a project called West African Virus Epidemiology for Root and Tuber Crop. Okay, so we're concentrating uh, for the first phase on cassava. One of the biggest objectives of the WAVE project mm -hmm. is to increase productivity of cassava across West Africa. We have seen the potential. Cassava has the potential to grow really very huge and massive, the tubers, but we are not reaching that potential currently right now. And we're saying that the virus diseases that are out there in the field are part of the reason the productivity is not as good as it should be. Our goal in WAVE is to ensure that our farmers, the smallholder farmers, produce surplus. That way they can sell the excess and have some financial uh, empowerment for other things. And then ensure that Africa is able to feed itself. Since I'd become an award fellow, my mentor, Dr. Robert Asiodo, we sat in that mentoring orientation workshop and we set some goals. I had a number of papers to do, I had conferences to attend. I almost did not apply for my promotion because I was discouraged by a lot of people. And he said, no, I looked at your CV, I think you qualify for this, go talk to this person. And with that push, I did apply for my promotion. And actually, my tenorship it usually is three years between promotion. But he said, you should apply, you qualify, you should get this. It was two years into my being a senior lecturer and I applied and my work went for external assessment and came up with wonderful reviews and I got my promotion. And then Award registers us for professional association. The leadership skills do not just teach you um, to be a leader, no. It actually teaches you to manage yourself, manage the people around you, time management, and a whole lot of other things that will enhance your science. You can sit in the lab unending and get results and sometimes do not even know how to translate these results, you know, to life applicability, as it were. So some of these other uh, work, it was it trainings, you know, and skills that our uh, equip us with go a long way in ensuring that our science ultimately translates from lab to life.